Hey, what's up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. And as you already saw from the title of the video, this is a informal pre-launching or let it be a preview of the project that I have been working on since maybe two, three months already. And just the, the project is a podcast. The name of the podcast or the show will be the Chemical Engineering Guys podcast. You can imagine it's about guys talking about chemical engineering. And I really like the approach of the podcast because we talk about the lives of these persons. Uh, we have, I have been interviewing already 15 to 20 chemical and process engineers all around the world. And they have similar backgrounds in the sense that they all study chemical engineering, but they have different outcomes. Let's say they select different paths they go to industry research teaching uh to work in maybe consulting finance i don't know it's very interesting to see the different paths that one single major can bring we typically start talking about these persons and we talk about why they went to chemical engineering some things that they loved about the uh university life something that they hated then how to get internships how to get co-ops and then more importantly, especially nowadays that the economy is not that nice, is how to get your first job. So we talk about tips, we talk about what type of skill sets you should have, how to approach it, how to be patient, because that's something very important. And then the most important part or the perfect use is what are they doing right now? What type of industry are they working on? What are the processes they're working with? Uh, what are they producing? What type of products? And yeah, essentially, how do they got there? What, how do they feel there? What are they doing? Essentially, the typical day-to-day -day life, because we all say, yes, I'm a chemical engineer working in the petrochemical industry. But you don't say that you go early to check out the reports. You have problems maybe with uh, some colleagues. You have maybe to get into contact with other uh, teams all around the world. You don't know. So that's the interesting part to see the day-to-day -day life. Okay. And in this very uh, first episode, which is with Daniel Garza, one of my high school friends, he is a chemical engineer. He works or he has been working in uh, other industries, but right now he is in the brewing industry, meaning that he makes a lot of beer, industrial beer. Uh, what do I mean with industrial beers? I'm pretty sure you know this type of brands that you have drink and maybe one, two, three, or maybe even more. I will not say the name of the brand or company that's on the full show, so check it out. But what I see of interest is that Daniel has a passion, which is craft beer or homemade beer. And he works in industrial beer. So for me, it's very interesting to see how he connects, let's say, the very large scale, massive equipment versus the equipment that he's using at home. Uh, OK, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. But uh, I also want to ask you for your help. Let me know how can I improve the podcast? If you see something of quality, maybe what do you like short episodes? Do you like long episodes that they last hours and so on? Uh, uh, whatever thing you think is relevant, maybe you want to have certain type of industries. Maybe you want to have certain type of engineers or roles. Maybe you want to have more into academics. I don't know. Let me know whatever you think is relevant. Uh, I'll check it out and consider it for future guest interviews. Okay, so without further ado, let's check out the clip with Daniel Gaza. It was very, very strange. So I went to the other company and not only I wasn't going to be an employee over there, but they were going to pay me less than my internships in the automobile company. But I really loved the engineering. I really loved all the work that I was going to do there. I was there three and a half years. And basically Chemistry, they were- Chemistry, uh, chemicals, bulk chemicals. What was the products? They were a lot, a lot of chemical, chemical. products. Uh, but bulk, that, fine chemistry, pharma, no, uh, we're talking, food, we're, we're talking building in, materials, agricultural. 
oh. agriculture and lots of very specific processes. Uh, really, the, the persons that were there, I respect them a lot. There were we had several several processes that, uh, for example, Bayern or FMC and all those monsters didn't were not able to do them, and not because of not because of the money that they had to invest, but they already tried to invest on the, the technical on, knowledge. Yeah, the technical knowledge they had was not enough to make them, and they sent it over to us. Obviously, I was just an, an, an uh, internship uh, guy, well, a student, but I was involved over there. So we had very, very, very dangerous stuff over there. We had some grind yard uh, reactions. We had uh, Mercaptan reactions, which are not strictly legal in every country. So, yeah, it was very, very, very cool. Check out the full episode at chemicalengineeringguy.com slash forward podcast. I'll see you there.